Hi everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shay and thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Ever since I did the luxury soap with the Dead Sea Mud in it and I said I thought I'd worked out how to make curly whirly swirls in my soap, I've been wanting to give my theory a go but as I've been mentioning in the last few videos it has just been too hot and humid to do anything. Even today we're sitting at about 33 deg degrees Celsius and we've got humidity up in the high 80s almost 90 percent so soaping in this sort of weather just doesn't work i have tried changing my recipe to take out all the hard oils and but or a majority of the hard oils and butters and putting in all those really nice beautiful slow moving oils like canola and had absolutely no luck doing it so i'm just having to resign myself to the fact that i cannot make soap for the next month or so but we did have a massive storm go through the other day and it was cool enough to actually soap so i had my oils all ready to go came out in the shed early in the morning and decided i was going to give my theory of how to make curly whirly swirls a go and i'm pretty happy with the results there's a couple of little things i think i really need to tweak on this one um but i will explain that at the end of this video but for now let's go and see how I make my Amalfi Coast soap with some curly whirly swirls let's go okay so I have finally got my oils to a temperature which I can work at I actually made these oils up about two days ago and they have not dropped below 30 degrees until last night we had a massive storm go through and it's lovely and cool this morning my oils have dropped down to about 25 degrees Celsius which is the sort of temperature that I like to work at when I'm soaping I just find that it behaves so much better for me when it is at this temperature and we're also sitting about 24 degrees inside the workshop so I am taking advantage of this cooler weather and I am going to have a go at this soap so I've just put my lye and distilled water solution into my oils just going to give it a quick mix to bring that up to emulsion that is as far as I'm going to take it for now because I really don't want to um, jinx myself too much the colors I am using today I have got some tutti frutti in this jug I love this tutti frutti it's got this kind of gold shimmer to it as well and it's just so nice and this one here I am using dark navy from nurture soap and I have put in just a tiny bit of black oxide as well because I really want this to stay a nice dark navy blue. I actually might just give myself a little bit more of this tutti frutti. Into my really big bucket here I am going to put myself a good scoop of some sea mist. We've got a nice green base. Now I'm avoiding putting any titanium dioxide into this because um, I've got this idea of how to create these um, curly swirls but speaking to Tierra from over at Luna Fay Creations she believes that they um, are caused when you've got titanium dioxide in the mix so I'm going to try and avoid putting actual titanium dioxide in and see if we can get those curly whirly swirls. today I am using some Amalfi Coast because I really need a couple of male fragrances or male soaps in my range again. It's got notes of lime, lemon, freesia, lavender, amber and sandalwood and it's it is very masculine it smells like a really nice aftershave now even though I say I want some more male um, soaps in my range I'm always very surprised the men do tend to buy the fruity ones from out of my range and the women really like these sort of woodier ones which personally I do like a woody um, scented bar of soap as well so this is one of the ones I really like it's nice and fresh and clean but you still get that real sort of saltiness that you kind of associate with ocean um, sort of fragrances it is quite a dark oil so I do expect this fragrance to or this soap to darken just a little bit with these colors but it is well worth it I have soaped with this one in the past get our mold in before I lose my chance to soap so far it is behaving quite well now my sort of theory behind getting these 
curly whirly swirls is to pour in a majority of that sort of base color and then do your drop swirls with your other colors so I'm just gonna simply pour in these other two blues just alternate between them this dark one is thickening up so we should get some interesting swirls if we're going to do this I think that's another thing you need to have part of the mix quite fluid and then another part where it is just that little bit thicker might save that back for the top of our soap oh throw it all over the place all right, let's get the rest of this one in And then my sort of theory for getting those swirls to really come together is to get this next, your main colour and pour it back in, but pour it in quite quickly, like so. And hopefully that will create some of the swirls. I may not have had enough of my base colour here to have done that. But we shall see. I will, if it doesn't work this time, I am determined to keep working on getting these curly swirly swirls because I really love getting them in my soaps. Let's give that a bit of a wiggle. This soap really simple because I just feel that that is the style of soap that this fragrance needs. I really, really love the top. It's going to have a really nice textured top as well, just because of how thick that has actually gone. I'm going to leave it sit overnight and then we're going to come back in just a moment. We'll cut it open and see if we did manage to get any curly whirly swirls in this one. Alright, so we are back to do the cutting or the reveal of this soap, I'm going to say, because I did something really, really silly and I actually deleted the main cutting video for this particular soap. There is another little bit of a snippet of the cutting at the end of this video that you can watch if you do want to see some of the soap being cut, but I'm very sorry I did delete by accident the original cutting of that of the loaf to start with but I thought I would show you the results of the bar so let me grab a couple so when I first started cutting into the soaps I was getting these very typical drop swirls and there really wasn't much in there there's a few wisps of color but you can actually start to see that the soap is starting to curl around and um, getting those sort of wisps into them so I think what my sort of main problem is is that I didn't save back enough of that sort of main color this greeny color I don't think there was quite enough of it saved back so I couldn't kind of get that real downforce of um, pour into my soap mold and I also think it got a little bit too thick by the time I was ready to pour it back in every other time that I've created these curly whirly swirls I've had very fluid soap and I think it's just that whole force that creates a vortex inside the soap that creates the swirls but as I started cutting down the soap I started to notice I was getting the curls so you can see over on this side here I have got some little curly whirlies so I think I am on to something with it and then I ended up with basically about half of my soap bars were developing these little curly whirly swirls so I am really really pleased with it I think I just need to work on it just a little bit more um, just to get the sort of right um, consistency of soap um, and also work out if I can actually achieve this I'm very interested to know if I can do it with just having um, the base color and one other color I've always done it when I've had two colors which have dropped in and so you can see on here that the two colors actually swirl into each other but on a few of these bars let me see if I can find where that one's just gone you can actually see on here that that one color is actually creating its own little swirl. Now hopefully all of that was actually in focus. I couldn't see when I was blocking the camera there. Um, and here is another one. That's one of my favorite pieces. So you've got that nice little curl 
down the bottom and then when you flip it over we've got the start of another curl in there so I'm really really pleased with how this soap has come up as I said I'm going to have it a little bit more of a play trying to work out the right sort of consistency and to see if we can get those curly whirlies really happening I am going to keep trying it without that titanium dioxide because I want to make sure that you actually don't need the titanium dioxide to create those curly whirly swirls now admittedly most micas do have titanium dioxide in it so it would be actually also be interesting to find some colors that don't have the titanium dioxide and see if they still work once I've actually mastered how to get these curly whirlies to happen but as I said there is a tiny little um, snippet of me cutting the rest of the soap after this little bit and again I do apologize for um, skipping out on that main cutting part but I do hope you have enjoyed watching how I have been testing my theory on these little swirls. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And until the next video comes out, I hope you have a good one and I will see you then. Bye.